Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, I've, I slept so much better last night. <laughs> oh. Well, I hope and pray you're all doing well this morning. Let me turn that Jesus picture. There we go. Love that picture. I found that at the uh, Family Christian Bookstore uh, years ago. Had it ever since. So uh, This morning, we're going to Psalms and then Deuteronomy, and then we got a reading in the Gospel of Mark. So, let's see what the Lord has to say to us this morning. All right, once again, I'm reading from the English Standard Version. Uh, so, the first reading uh, is Psalm 93. So, as always, may God bless the reading of His Word. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed. He has put on strength as His belt. Yes, the world is established. It shall never be moved. Your throne is established from of old. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring. Mightier than the thunders of many waters, mightier than the waves of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. Your decrees are very trustworthy. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. All right. And once again, I'm drinking from the Alamo mug. All right. Thank you again, Rick. Awesome mug. Uh, the Old Testament lesson this morning is Deuteronomy chapter 11, verses 18 through 21. So here we go. You shall therefore lay up these words of mine in your heart and in your soul, and you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall teach them to your children, talking of them when you are sitting in your house and when you are walking by the way. And when you lie down and when you rise, you shall write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates, that your days and the days of your children may be multiplied in the land that the Lord swore to your fathers to give, the, to give them, as long as the heavens are above the earth. All right. Another short one this morning. Uh, the New Testament reading is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16, verses 19 and 20. So here we go. So then the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right, right hand of God. And they went out and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the message by accompanying signs. <clears throat> and this is the word of the Lord. You know what's interesting is after after Jesus was taken up and they were going out and they were preaching Jesus, you know, tell him all this. Um, you know, today we all we all look to the New Testament and doing that, but they were they were preaching Jesus from the Old Testament. Uh, that's all they had was was the the scriptures was was what we call the Old Testament, and so that would be an interesting Bible study. Uh, to go through uh, for you know Jesus in the Old Testament, um, it may not say the word or his name, Jesus, but uh, there are certainly all throughout the Old Testament, and that that would be an awesome Bible study to do that. So um, I don't know, just follow that away for later. So <laughs> so let's go to the Pray Now app and read the prayer of the day. The Pray Now app is really really good. I like it. All right, let us pray. O oh God, you are the strength of all who trust in you, and without your aid we can do no good thing. Grant us the help of your grace that we may please you in both will and deed, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Um. Let me see. Let me see. 
I'm going to offer another prayer. This one is for the, for the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts that we may rule, that he may rule and direct us according to your will. Comfort us in all of your temp, all of our temptations and afflictions. Defend us from all error and lead us into all truth that we, being steadfast in faith, may increase in all good works and it, and in the end obtain everlasting life life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. We're halfway through the week. So, uh, so anyway, y'all have an awesome day. So with that, be safe, be happy, and be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow morning on Coffee in the Word. God bless. Bye-bye.